Now we have to encode the given bit pattern using alternate mark inversion. AMI stands for alternate mark inversion. Here mark means the bit 1. This stands for alternate. So alternating between the positive and negative part of your time axis. Mark stands for the bit 1 inversion. Alternate mark inversion. That means your bit 1 will be alternating between the positive part and the negative part of the time axis. So the rule is very simple. 0 will represent a neutral 0 voltage. That means once I find a 0, I need to draw the signal along the time axis. I need to draw it along the time axis and if I find a 1, I need to alternate between positive and negative voltage. So let's see how. Now see, it's been clearly mentioned that first it has to be positive and then it has to be negative. So if I find a 1, then I'll represent it using a positive voltage. Now if it's a 0, then it represents a 0 voltage, a neutral 0 voltage. So it will be along this time axis. So it will be along the time axis and then I have, so I'll join it and then I have a 1. So you see for the previous one, I got a positive voltage. So for the next one, I should get a negative voltage because it should alternate between positive and negative. Now I'll get a negative voltage here for my 1 and then again I get a 1. So now I'm at negative. So I'll go back up, represent positive. I get a 0. 0 represents 0 voltage along the time axis. I get a 1. The previous one was a positive voltage. This will be a negative voltage. Now 0 represents 0 voltage along time axis. Again there is a 0 that would represent the 0 voltage along time axis. So this is how you would encode your bit pattern using AMI. In the next video we will see how to encode a bit pattern using pseudo ternary. I hope this helps. Thank you.